class class yes yes good morning class um today we're going to be going over subtraction using base 10 blocks uh the first thing i want y'all to do is take out y'all's journals so that we all can write down the definitions and steps um the first definition we're going to be going over is subtraction uh subtraction is the process of taking one number or amount from another and um base 10 blocks um is a base system that is used to count um, so basically one square is going to equal 100 and one bar is going to equal 10 and one square cube is just going to equal one um, the steps that are we, we are going to be going over for this um, for this subtraction using base 10 blocks is um, the first step I want y'all to uh, write down is draw the blocks for the first number and the second step is going to be cross off the blocks for the second number and the third step is going to be count the leftovers and write down the answer and I'll tell you what all this means uh, when I show you an example alrighty for the first example we're going to be going over, I want y'all to write down, write this down on y'all's notes. Um, it's going to be 110 uh, minus 10. So we know that the top number is going to be our first number. And the second number is going to be, or the second number is our second. So what this means is when you get to this first step, you want to write this down. So we know that there are 100 units and 110. Um, we also know that there is a 10. So we write that down using the block and the the 10 bar and um, for the second step you want to cross out uh, cross off the blocks for the second number so we know that it's there's 10 on the second number so you want to cross this one out and then the third and final step is you count the leftovers and write down the answer so we know that there is one block left over and that block means 100. And that's how you get the first end, the first example. Now for the second example we're gonna be going over, it is going to be 118 minus eight. And I'm gonna leave that one up there so that way y'all can take, take the notes. Um, Give y'all a couple minutes. Um, okay, now for this, for the second one, we're gonna be drawing. We're gonna be uh, drawing the blocks for the first number again. So we know that there are we know that there are one hundred and one eighteen, and there is also. 8 bar in 118 and how you draw the leftover 8 are it's going to be that's how you draw that one now for the second step we're going to uh, do the same process as the first time uh, we're going to cross off the blocks for the second number so there are eight units in the second number. So what you wanna do is cross out these ones. Since we know that these are units and the second number has eight, you wanna cross out eight of these. And now for the last step, we're gonna uh, count the leftovers and write down the answer. And we know that there are one there's one 100 block and one um, bar which means that there is 
we know that the block is 100 and the bar is 10. That means we have 110 left over. I'll give y'all a moment to type that one down. Okay, now for this third example, it is going to be 78 minus 32. Now for this number, where there is no bar. So, this is the first number again. And the way we write this one down is, well, you want to draw the blocks for the first number. So the way you write down this one is going to be 7 bars, since we know that there are 7 and 70, um, because that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then 70. Um, and we know that there are 8 units. Okay, now for the second number. We are going to be crossing out we're going to be crossing off the blocks for the second number so it's um, 32 so we want to cross out three bars since there's three bars in 30 and we want to cross out two units And after that, we want to count the leftovers. So that way we can write down our answer. And we know that there, there's four bars left over and six units left over. So that means that the final answer is going to be 40 and six. Let y'all write that down, and then as soon as um, as soon as y'all get those down, then we're gonna go over to these practice problems, and um, I'm gonna be passing out the paper for them, and um, I want y'all to uh, write them down in y'all's journal and go over them um, by yourselves, and when y'all are done, um, just flip it over, and then um, uh, we'll all go over it together. Okay, and uh, I'll be um, I'll be walking around the room so that way when y'all are done or if y'all need any um quest if y'all have any questions or need any help then I can help y'all out. Um,